Hello students. We will be we are discussing structural dynamics and earth engineering course. In this video, we will be discussing lesson two of unit number one, terminologies and effects of earthquake. We will be focusing on the various terminologies like focus, epicenter, fault line, fault plane, seismic waves and its types, and what are the effects of these seismic waves. So, if you look at the figure. We know how earthquakes happen. So, it is at one point or a region where there is sudden amount of release of energy. So, that point is called as focus. So, here it is marked in this figure. And the epicenter is the point on the earth's surface that is directly above the focus. So, we can see this is your epicenter. Then we have a fault line. So, fault line is the surface of a fault, the line of intersection between the earth's surface. Fault plane, so here is that fault plane, this all along uh, we are having fault plane, where the cracks are generated. And what is a fault scrap? So, it is a topographic expression of faulting attributed to displacement of land surface by movement along faults. So, you can see this is the region. This is called as fault scrap. Now, uh, whenever earthquake happens, a sudden amount of sudden and large amount of energy is released. That energy then travels through the earth's layers. These are called as waves, seismic waves. Now, there are different types of seismic waves, body waves and surface waves. Again, body waves are of two types, P and S waves. Surface waves are also of two types, R and L waves. So, we will discuss one by one. So, these are primary waves or P waves. So, we can see in the animation how these waves travel. So, there is a compression and a refraction or expansion whenever the wave passes through that material. So, particle motion is in the direction of wave propagation and these travels, uh, these waves can travel through both solids and liquids. These are secondary waves. So, these are slower than P wave. The particle motion, if you see here, is in a direction perpendicular to the direction of travel and these waves can travel through solid only. That means, they cannot travel through outer core which is in liquid form. Then we have surface waves. So, whenever these body waves reach to the surface, they travel along the surface. So, these are called as then surface waves. So, they travel along the earth's surface, Rayleigh wave and Love wave. So, Rayleigh wave, uh, we can notice that it is in a rotary motion. So, roll along the ground, the particles move up and down as well as side by side, the particles move in a direction of propagation of wave. And we have love waves or L waves. So, these are the fastest surface waves, but slower than body waves. The particles move side to side and the particles move in a direction perpendicular to the direction of travel. Now, what is the use of these seismic waves? So, whenever an earthquake happens, the difference in arrival times at a seismograph station. So, seismograph is a uh, instrument where the earthquakes are measured. So, that we will see in detail later on. So, they can be used to calculate the distance from seismograph to the epicenter. So, such graphs are there and depending upon the time of arrival of P and S wave, we can know what is the location of station from the epicenter. And on the right hand side, we can see the P waves travel through solids and liquids. They also deflect whenever the material changes. So, P waves you can see they travel through outer core also, but S waves will not travel through the outer core because that is in liquid form. Now, what are the effect of this seismic waves? So, we can see there are vertical uh, direction waves, there are horizontal direction waves. 
so you can see vertically uh, waves they affect the long span structures like bridges the horizontal waves they mostly affect vertical structures like tall buildings then also we have l waves and r waves so they affect differently to the structures present on the earth surface so we can see as an example uh, there are uh, these are few real examples so first is the multi storied building because of the horizontal seismic wave the building slabs have collapsed on the left hand side bottom corner we have bridge so because of horizontal uh, component of seismic wave we can see the bridge is tilted and we can see the actual photograph on the right hand side top corner we have effect of vertical uh, component of seismic wave so the bridge the columns are collapsed and we have the horizontal effect on masonry buildings where they cannot sustain the horizontal load and the buildings collapse so we can see there is a major effect of these seismic waves and on the building structures and the most uh, or the worst effect is caused because of the horizontal component of seismic wave so that is why we need to study this so this is the end of lesson 2 in lesson 3 we will be discussing measurement of earthquake that is magnitude intensity most of us have heard these words whenever an earthquake happens and seismograph accelerogram the how the earthquakes are measured thank you